I can remember back in 2016 when I was still making videos in Swedish. Oh. Back when I was still hopeful that the DCEU could be safe. And I, because of this, you know, I, I remember I gave Batman vs Superman a favorable review. <sighs> yeah, I know. Granted though, I, I had been to the midnight premiere, so, uh, you know, with my sister. And at this time, I was recording the review at about 5 in the morning. I was half asleep and I was sitting on my parents living room floor for some reason. Don't remember why. Anyway, fast forward to now and uh, with this review I've been taking my time because it's been almost a week since I saw it so I've been contemplating my feelings and really thinking about it and um, yeah I think I love it. In today's episode of Please Don't Make a Scene we review Aquaman. Well, let me just stop you right here. Love is a very strong word, but I definitely like it. Unlike 80% of the other DCU movies, Aquaman actually feels like a, a movie. Or, or, or almost like a movie. I mean, it has a beginning, a sort of a middle, and kind of an ending. And Aquaman, or Arthur Curry, as it's called, has an arc, almost, an emotional arc. Sort of an arc. And the ending isn't a 45 minute battle scene where they demolish a major metropolitan area. It's only a 10 minute battle scene and there's not really any structural damage because it's, it's on the, the bottom of the ocean. But best of all, there is some actual passion in this movie. People express, you know, affection towards each other. Not just, you know, oh, we're best friends or we are a family. No, no, no. Actual passion, love, lust. With kissing. People kiss each other in this movie. I can't remember the last time I saw that in a, in a big blockbuster PG-13 movie. Yeah, I know. A lot of the early reviews for Aquaman was saying that this was the best DC movie since The Dark Knight, though, and um, those critics were obviously paid to say that. But when you start to think about it, the only good DC movies that came after The Dark Knight was The Dark Knight Rises and uh, sort of Wonder Woman. And Aquaman is not better than The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, not by a long shot. But it might actually be better than Wonder Woman. That isn't an you know amazing feat in and of itself, because you know Wonder Woman was a, was a fine movie, but you know far from a masterpiece. And I should also you know clarify this as well, because I've been very positive so far in the video. Aquaman is not a great movie. It, it's it's a mess, shoddy acting, uh, and over reliance on CGI. But you know, big surprise takes place in Atlantis so but but anyway and it has a lot of unnecessary action scenes that really kill the flow of the plot and one thing that really confused me was the timeline while I was watching the movie I was unsure when in the DCEU timeline this movie took place I mean they mentioned defeating Steppenwolf but it seems like the general population in this movie don't really seem to recognize that there are these meta-humans. So, I don't know if this is before or after the Justice League movie. But uh, honestly, who cares? The less we are reminded of the Justice League movie, the better. But that is also something worth pointing out. That many of the flaws with this movie, with Aquaman, comes from tying this movie to the rest of the DCEU. As a standalone adventure, Aquaman could actually, you know, be a pretty damn good movie, you know, an entertaining blockbuster popcorn kind of flick. But, you know, the sins of the father and, and all that. So, it, it really suffers because of previous movies in this franchise. But in a way, I think it's a good thing that the DCEU movies have been received so poorly before this. It has really forced the producers to rethink their decisions and bring in better suited writers and directors. To salvage what little favors left with the audience, they brought in 
James Wan. Now he's mostly known for his horror movies, but he is actually very adept in directing action as well. He directed the uh, very underrated Death Sentence, starring Kevin Bacon, a long, long time ago now, so it's been over 10 years, I think. But he also directed uh, Furious 7, which is probably the best Fast and Furious movie after Fast 5. And we'll save my affection for the Fast and Furious movies for another video. Please calm down. James Wan has the ability to direct a movie almost and completely ironically, just like he did with uh, Furious 7, but you know, still making it genuinely entertaining. And with Aquaman, he manages to do exactly the same thing here. Uh, the, the idea of Aquaman... Permission to come aboard? ...is inherently silly. And James Wan recognizes this, but, you know, does the best he can to balance the silliness with the seriousness. And this definitely rubs off on Jason Momoa in his portrayal of Aquaman or, or Arthur Curry. Unlike Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill, Jason Momoa actually seems to have fun playing a superhero. He relishes in the campiness of the character and, and, and fits perfectly with the tone of the movie. The rest of the cast does an admirable job, even though their roles are terribly underdeveloped. Special props though to Tamara Morrison and Nicole Kidman. and They, they play Aquaman's parents and even though they have very limited screen time together, the chemistry between them really made you invested in their pretty tragic love story, which runs as a sort of a emotional B-plot throughout the movie. All in all, I actually really enjoyed Aquaman. Don't take this the wrong way though, it, it's definitely a, a trashy comic book movie, but it at least tries to be more of a, a movie than the other DCEU movies, you know, by, by following a more traditional uh, adventure movie structure. And it doesn't really care about trying to fit into the franchise too much. And I have to admit, I actually shed a few tears of joy throughout the movie. Or maybe those tears were of relief. Because Aquaman, like I said before, almost felt like a proper movie, at least from time to time. And that is something I haven't seen in a major release comic book movie in years. I guess that's some. But that's that. That's Aquaman. It's in the bag. Uh, but anyway, if you liked this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, of course, uh, give it a thumbs down. Um, but if you did like it and you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you're updated every time I release a new video. Until then, have a good one.